Hey, we are Team Galactic. This is our Interaction Design Studio Sprint 2 for Assessment 2A. So, our product is named iStatus, and our problem statement is that scheduling softwares are too complex, and the ones that are available don't get straight to the point, and they take too long for the user to get what they need out of it. So, our market analysis. Uh, so, essentially, we focus more on messaging compared to our competitors. We're better at color coordination. We don't overcomplicate things. Like a lot of products right now have a lot of colors and it's just, it's sort of too much. Like they, there's too many different categories for different types of time. Like we focus more on free time and not free time, very binary and simplified. So yeah, we would just provide a simpler experience for the users. And these are our, like so the competitors that we've researched mainly. So Microsoft, Google, Connect Team 20, Family Wall, and when to meet. Uh, yeah. And so. Google and Microsoft's calendar are too complex. We've decided based on uh, some user data that we'll show you in a second. Uh, they require too much more time, which is quite ironic, honestly, because as the technology develops, it requires incre increasingly more time to organize a schedule that's required to help you save time, which is quite ironic. It doesn't really make sense. So we want to solve that problem. Uh, yes, yeah, this is our Microsoft example. like. There's a lot going on here. It's if you just want to know what's who's available, if or if they're busy next week or today, it's just like you, know, you have to you actually have to digest what you're looking at here. It's not very obvious. Uh, and here's this is an example I use. This is from my calendar with my like with my friends that I used in the holidays just to work out who was available. And the way they did it was overlapping everyone's availability, different colors. It's just a nightmare, honestly. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, the market announced again, we were following the observation group of video game players ranging from age 13, 18 to 35. We worked out that 30% of our sample has experienced difficult with coordinating gaming sessions, with the rate that in proportional distribution with the age group. Uh, so this is a group member showing his frustration without a simple scheduling app. Essentially, he just wishes that there was a simple way he could just check and message instead of having to like, you know, message to find out and say, oh, sorry for messaging you, didn't realize you were busy. So this proves that there is an availability in this market. It, it, like there is a problem here that actually needs to be solved. It's not just like, you know, another scheduling app. They are missing some crucial factors that their users do want from them. Uh, and that's what we hope to provide. So here are some examples of players manage, manually scheduling. They sort of just asking the void to see who will reply back in a group chat. No one seems to be getting back to the first few people and like, you know, they have, to, they have to ping certain channels and categories of servers on Discord especially is where they mostly are. And this is just like, you know, not even what Discord's built for. It's just where they have to go because it's like the simplest existing platform, which isn't very good, you know. So this is another like problem and we hope to solve this. Amy Chan is a persona who prefers convenience and comfort. Having a simple experience which you can just conveniently check who's doing what will like eliminate a lot of her trouble. And this is a persona who uh, prefers video games. And they, they, post they explicitly state that video games and community go hand in hand, right? So it's it's like there are solo player games, but people mostly these days play uh, games in a community, especially through COVID. That's how a lot of socializing occurred. And uh, yeah, that like, it's just, they're not very connected at the moment. So this is Rebecca Ford. She enjoys getting users organized, so our product would be perfect for her. She doesn't like getting ignored. This is uh, Sam Hyde, so he prefers to get things done as a group. So even outside of a gaming setting, just an office environment or someone who needs you know, a partner with a task, it's a great product for them instead of having to message them and, and sort of work it out. He knows if these be their partners. So yeah, another, another type of uh, target market for us. We believe that iStatus will fulfill this market gap. We'll be able to quickly plan free time schedules for groups in any setting. Our primary target is, is gamers, but you know, this product has a wide flexibility and adaptability. So as an easy schedule display page, we will create this for all use, for users of all products. We have to achieve like the quickest possibly scheduling, scheduling app. We're going to measure this by surveying the experience of our users. And we, another thing we hope to create is a time count for designated date and time for all users of the product to achieve better user experience for the users making schedule making. Uh, this is again measured by user feedback. And another, the last thing we plan to create is a device of displaying selected group status for people who purchase the product and, you know, who are looking to group up with their gaming friends or complete a task with in an office environment, anyone within our target market. To achieve this, 
We're going to provide an instant status access, and we're also going to provide some messaging capabilities potentially. And again, we'll measure this by asking the users to fill out a questionnaire on their device. And so here's an example of one of our prototypes. You know, just a nice, simple welcoming screen. Uh, some, and then like you know, binary colors, red and green here, just to see who's available, who's not. In a in a very simple table, there's no like unnecessary data. It's the day, time, availability. Another prototype that we have is uh, sort of like a, the first screen sort of generalizes a group of friends as schedules. So it's red and blue. Oh, red is unavailable, blue is available. And then you can click on that person and see a detailed schedule of what they actually have going on and when and what time they will be available. Uh, so yeah, this one has like a bit of a, you know, just a general hub that tells you what's going on. Another one, uh, this one is sort of like a more social, like social media platform. You have friends added and they have the statuses and it lets you know across all platforms and apps what, what they were doing, their activities. So if you have them added as a friend, you can see what they were doing most recently. If they are unavailable, what they plan to do, you can add them to groups for different activities. So yeah, th these are the few prototypes that we have planned out. And uh, here are the group uh, contribution tables. Thank you for listening.